clear the tray. Okay, so clear the tray. I clear the tray. Okay. Okay, test. This is about test. I clear the tray. Okay. Okay, test. Okay, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, microphone test, one, two, mic check. Hello, everyone. One, two, one, two. Alright, so we're just getting our volume up. Uh, just clipping here, just here, and you can see it goes up from the green into the yellow. Alrighty, so let's uh, carry on. Let's carry on. So, uh, welcome to the Bear City Serial Project channel. Uh, what we've got going today is a bit of C++. Uh, so we've gone, gone ahead and built a few things. We've had a look at Dogecoin, source code. Uh, and we've got this new little uh, piece of software installed. As you see, everything is on Linux, uh, Fedora Workstation 35. So this is the, uh, the C++, simplest C++ on Linux Fedora Workstation 35, okay, so all free, open source, and what have you, so we're using all this studio here, we managed to get a few odds and ends in there, quick time creator, that uh, was originally for Nokia, in the early noughties, so like, like that, quick time, Visual Studio Code, of course, uh, and we've got this new uh, application, we've got it from the store, uh, down here, if you can click here, if you come to the, uh, this is the Linux Fedora Workstation 35 store. So you can see we've got a few options here and that. And uh, yeah, we can go get odds and ends. Uh, so obviously we've got uh, all, all the software that's been installed. And uh, I think it was called Git G. Okay, so we've uh, built uh, the software. We're trying to get it a bit more complicated. There we go, Git G. Graphical user interface of Git. Now well, I've got it installed here. So we, uh, unfortunately, we've not been able to successfully build the Dogecoin from source. So uh, we're trying to get there. So uh, we've added this to Git G. Okay, so we're just going to open Git G. Uh, you can open it either way from down here in the uh, collections here. Uh, are you? Projects is ready. Let's have a look. Around. Okay. So uh, the Dogecoin. Well, uh, we can have a look at the Dogecoin. Uh, so we're trying to build Dogecoin from source. Oh, we'll just click Dogecoin. And yeah, this is what it's all about, really. So as you can see, there's a nice little graphic here, and uh, this is all the odds and ends that occur during the build. So like step by step by step. Uh, all right. That seems to go at the top. And uh, it gives you a little bit of information down here as well. So, uh, committed. That's the guy who did it. Number 267. And these are the ones that was previous to it. And I think that's the signature key in the bottom right. Uh, well, slightly, bit slightly to the bottom and to the right here. I think that's the some key that gets signed. So, uh, we're, now, uh, we're now leaving the simplest C++ sort of phase. We're now looking at how it's done uh, professionally, like uh, say this all kind of open source. Uh, and yeah, so down here we can look at the text. So we, we can't adapt it, oh, you can select so we'll copy and paste it. Uh, so look at the next one. Okay, new environment, minor version release. Uh, couple of links to Reddit. Uh, so this is things that's changed. QT, so they've used a QT quick time. Uh, please update this and you can prevent more stats from exploiting this vulnerability. So, right. so there's a little merge request here. Is, is, and uh, this is all the people checking the software out, uh, the Dogecoin source code. So they refer back to the uh, building Dogecoin from source series there, the edition, you can get it yourself. Uh, This is just like the step by step, and it, it all collapses back together as one up here in the master build, and it goes on and on and on forever. And these are like all the hundreds of developers 
I don't know, the these are the developers here, all these guys check it out. And it's it goes back together again. And it gets brought back together again as developers deal with issues step by step. New version, uh, that was say August twenty twenty one. So there's a f well, this guy's fixed a few improvement as you've noticed there. If you read it in the chapter of the the narrowing copying, so this Right, yeah, yeah, uh, a little bit more complex sort of software there. So, uh, and here are these, these are the line numbers of the source code files itself. Uh, moving on tag. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the Dogecoin project git g. Uh, Basically, so w just bear this in mind that that we've got this uh, got this going here. So, what we're looking to do with the simpler C plus plus series, uh, you see lots of work here. Right? That was quite an interesting pattern. You know, over time, if these guys check the source code in and out, it's fixed uh, permission issues or what have you. So, looking to bring everything together. So, we've done uh, C plus uh, plus simple C++ app, we've uh, created a make so we can rebuild it as the source code adapts and evolves like oh, we've made updates to the initial source code uh, and we've bundled it in an RPM bundle and um, it's about that is all out of the box straight from Linux Fedora uh, without any additions like you, don't actually, you, you don't actually have to add anything together right uh, but we, we to get to the next level, so we've managed to create a create a build C plus plus out of the simplest one possible. We've managed to get a make for it, so as it can cycle through its evolution, like as it gets updated in a similar way, uh, a package builder as well, so we can drop, uh, we can install it uh, in in, in fruit via this. Uh, this is git g, you know, so so this is if you can remember, this is the uh, store the software store for Linux Fedora Workstation 35. Okay, so we're looking to get uh, an area here and uh, in a similar vein uh, allow users of Linux Fedora Workstation 35 to download our software. Uh, so we have to create a repository as well. It's called something's called a repo or repository. Right, normally people connect via the, co the command line, but it's pretty difficult, it's complex, there's a bunch of stuff that needs uh, added on top, git being one of them, git, uh, audacity there's a little j in software that's been going for time, I recommend audacity, you can just record your podcast directly into it, uh, yeah, so yeah, so the idea is for us to build for example, Dogecoin from source, uh, an uh, RPM it and turn it into a package. It's already been done, so if we go to the uh, Linux Fedora workstation store, right, uh, right, type in Dogecoin, see what we've got. Right, no application found. Uh, What does Bitcoin do? Uh, we've got Electrum, a lightweight Bitcoin client. We can install that. Uh, it's got a Bitcoin wallet recovery. Uh, I've got a uh, QR code on it, so you can send Bitcoin to one another via that graphic. Uh, it's been released relatively re recently, five months ago, latest version. So the idea is, yeah, we've got, uh, well, we want to push our project, the simplest C++ project, we want to push it so then people can do what we're doing now by installing and uninstalling, but also checking for updates as well. So, because uh, what you do is, uh, let me screw that off here, obviously you, you 
create your project or what have you, you build it, you package it and then you host it as well somewhere out there that people can get to in a repository. Uh, the interesting thing about uh, Bitcoin and Dogecoin and what have you, so some of you and that, it's not really, it's a little different than how we traditionally do things. Normally we'd build an app and uh, we'd back it up with a web server as well, so it'd be from the app, uh, you'd probably install the app from your software or whatever, you'd call it my app here somewhere, you just double click it, download it, then register accounts or what have you, and it also connect to a website, like a background website as well, like that's your traditional client server architecture, uh, a bit like, and that's how you get online games, your direct 3D or direct X or your online uh, they're kind of doing that same thing into process communication and, and over TCP IP and whatever because of the processing power. For example, like Call of Duty, you can have like a few like hundred odd people in at the same time because lots of processing power. Obviously, Unreal Tournament, uh, Unreal Tournament, uh, f uh, fans, fanboys that will understand that. You should get mad battles on that. Uh, anyway, well that's just a tangent. So let's let's have a look at. Uh, that that was a Dogecoin source. Let's look at the Git, the Git of Git, basically. So that's the application we're using now. Uh, Git G. You can install it from there. So this is Git, the Git of Git. All right, let's have a look. So it's much more neater. All right, you can see like these are all the steps in its evolution as as it is pulled apart and individual individual. Uh, jobs have been done on the source code, so they've zoomed into the C++ or so have you and fixed uh, whatever issue uh, and, and whatever issues have been going on during the build of Git in this case. Uh, let's have a look at all sorts and, uh, and then it gets brought back together again and see so all the threads get brought back together again to, to a final release build or like a bundle. Right, so in general, this whole process of uh, starting from the simplest, and we're getting, uh, we're getting starting to get more complex. Oh, it's all done by uh, Linus Torvalds back in uh, 2005. Right. Before we go, we can uh, have a look at the source code. We can't change it from here. And we can probably copy and paste it. We well, can't really ed uh, edit read only. And these will be the uh, F disk. Oh, we can, oh, we can open the file. I guess that's it. That's so that's that piece of C plus uh, plus. What have you? That was adapted and changed. Uh, F one nine two five five minus twelve volts. The F six print out all the root commits it finds. Oh, we jubbly. Uh huh. Uh, so uh, in in time and stuff like that. And obviously, that's what other people have took over the build. They've checked out areas of it, and it's been brought back together again. We were get you know, start to hit get hero, so then it kind of takes off, doesn't it? The development takes off really. There's a bit of an explosion there in there. So it goes back to 2021, so it goes back together again, and then all of a sudden you can see more and more work has been done. Uh, this is probably step by step, stage by stage, like uh, C plus plus programming. Drive they've worked on the files. So uh, if we dial all the way back, so obviously it gets all brought together again today in the master uh, bundle, whatever that's what you're going to get in your RPM. So when you go through this build cycle, the uh, C++, the make, uh, the RPM packet manager, the installation, What you this is how you get it to it if you only have to arrive at that destination where you've got... Uh, where you've got, you know all of these bundles here so we can just double click uh, and we can just install it because it's all together in the bundle you see so for your end user uh, all they really care about uh, and it's pretty much the same for Microsoft uh, Microsoft Store, Apple, Google Android of course and generally speaking uh, Apple a lot of these bundles can actually be installed on Apple if they're done in a certain format as well, so really, your end user see this install it's free and open source. Uh, but uh, in terms of your own internal organisation, you can still use this 
all the time. So it's kind of what uh, all the IT and tech giants are competing for really is 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 uh, all that area of the market. So the the so the ideal outcome with of this C plus plus series you know build from source is that we get a bundle here that uh, anybody with, with Linux Fedora Workstation 35 could just click install. Uh, you can see it will prepare, it will install, uh, and, and use it. Uh, obviously, behind the scenes, something like this is what's what what's necessary. What it takes to build software in C plus plus. In honesty, like it's kind of how it goes. As you can see, a lot of these guys have been doing this for decades, fifteen years, sixteen years of programming that represents that git. Uh, basically, we went down all the way back to April the seventh, two thousand five. The initial, uh, yeah. So that's the beginning of the new project, as it were, and it's been checked out by all these people. It's done all this work on it uh, as time has progressed. Uh, lots of new features recently, probably something to do with C plus plus twenty coming out, something like that, all merged together again on the on that branch, and that's what you'd build. And put it in the RPM packet manager, and, and get out there to your customers or just as uh, uh, end users or whoever out there. Some of these bundles do install on Apple platforms as well, so it's installed one hundred percent. See if it's turned up here in the. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, application ready to use. Let's click launch. There it is. There, five minutes worth to the uh, bundle there. Kind of the same thing happens over and over again on your smartphone, uh, uh, Apple Mac, etc. All right, so that's this is Git G. Uh, we've got our grass call cut the necessary c uh, command lines to get is the well, generally speaking, it's pretty easy to do. If you type on the command line, you know, if you open up a command terminal. For example, oh, here we go. We've uh, here we go. Yeah, tap out of that. Uh, here we go. Uh, I see this pop up menu as well. All very pleasant. Uh, how do I get out of the app? Okay. Fantastic. So that's it's a cool bit of kit still there. And we've been going decades. All right. No, I don't know how to call it. I don't get out of here. into the oh, get the tab out of it there open tab gets us out of it uh, yeah so so generally speaking that's the idea so your end user is not all they're going to really interact with is uh, you know in this manner here so we can get the bundle click install and hit open and it will uh, appear in the system uh, you can play on the play on the stellar in there or whatever so yeah, so these are the steps it takes to get there. But we've, we've started out minimal using just Linux Fedora Workstation 35. Uh, we've added the uh, builder, so which is like like the inbuilt C++ sort of thing. Uh, Qt Creator as well. 
uh, as this is through your core as well. So we've got options in the clips as well. So we've got options. However, there's a kind of an issue here. So Builder, Fusity Creative, Visual Studio Code, and Eclipse. There's issues with regard to building vibes and targets. It's a problem with Linux. It's been pointed out online by that big YouTube channel recently. It's an issue. Right, and we're trying to find a way to get the uh, to get to get everything done in the simplest possible way, but. Uh, it's one of those things in Linux, you c the complexity could it can multiply out uh, really quickly, and it, it's a pain. Like it, it genuinely gets in the way of developers getting on with the job. So we're trying to find a way of getting all these things together, uh, and uh, getting get it all together so we can just cycle through building, just like it is demonstrated in the Git, you know, in this Git G. Right, uh, let's have a look at Visual Studio Code. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Toy Story 1. We'll go clone Git repository. Let's see what we do. We so we, straight away you can say, right, we're going to we'll run into issues. Obviously, it's forcing you onto GitHub as well. Right as well, so yeah, you know, if you go to GitHub, clone from GitHub, wants to sign in to GitHub, so we've got a bit of issue with the build targets as well uh, in the Visual Studio Code. Right, it's the same with uh, Builder. So also, if we get get Builder, uh, if it is Builder. Right, this is like the Linux store entry entry into the market, right, of software stuff. Uh, and as soon as we go into these IDEs, uh, whether it's Visual Studio Core, whether it's Builder, uh, uh, what's the other one? Yeah, Eclipse IDE. So See the CMake build, that's on CMake. We use make from the command line, so we just use the command terminal. So we just type in make rather than use any any program. Yeah, clips ID make me out here. Uh, rather than use any applications or, or programs because issues occur straight away. Uh, the minute we drop this on top of that, right, things in layers and we're trying to strip away it. Error undefined. So build files, blah blah blah. Well if you so it's it's one of those things. Uh it's the uh, it's the perils of the open source sort of thing here, ain't it? So all, all of a sudden, it's like it's not, it's not like. Yeah. Uh, check if I've got a load, what have you? <laughs> And it's saying QT not found as well, so it says QT not found there. I'll use the, the you know, we've got quick time here, QT creator. Right, as well, so I don't, I, I don't know what, what to do to get this to get this, get this resolved, to be honest. Right, uh, so we're getting a bit of flow down here, so yeah, this one's just a clip's workspace. No launch, so it's about these launching build configurations as well, ain't it? Uh, what well seems to me that uh, as soon as you drop everything, uh, as soon as you drop uh, an ID on top, all of a sudden everything slows down, it takes forever. There's all these things that are the complexity of this git and different merges and different branches, and different build targets and stuff, and so we've got. 
Uh, well, we've hit we've hit a dead end re really. Let's see. By going by going this way around, so it's forcing us to go. And uh, it's forcing us to go the min uh, the you know the minimalistic way around. Uh, so basically we're nothing but the lights for door and do stuff. We've had to do a lot of command command lines. Uh, look at the doors being locked. Uh, I'm looking there. Didn't build. That's why. Uh, let's see the documents from for it. So, so we're trying to build. Uh, you know the simplest program possible with uh with AI so main then we've got the main file as well these two here and then the RPM package instructions. The git we're still trying to figure out the git the git repo repository sort of thing. Oh yeah. Q two create is finally loaded. So that's the thing we you know there's like like it's pretty decent actually Q T but it uh, Yeah, back in the day, yeah, back in the day of Nokia, actually, if you've done some Nokia work, it's like, it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's pretty much about everything you expect. We did have a look at the bit, the bit called the QT Pro. That's including, sorry, in the Doge phone source, source code. Uh, so let's see, we're just preparing. Uh, have we got a debug target build? Test build, so it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got these about make as well, like so made by AI. Build fail. Uh of course the underlying C plus plus compilers. There's a bunch of them. Uh so we're just using the in the simplest project possible, we're using uh the command line tool for the The terminal that inside the form documents. If you open the terminal, open opening terminals will open form documents. The command line and just hitting the command line. All right, for example, using make to build the system. So it's building it. Uh, see, you can see it just made out. Do make clean, so delete it. Uh, Oh, we'll do we'll do the directory for my for my make files. Uh, so yeah, we'll just type in make again. Uh, don't know this. Uh, dot out. Uh, first dot slash a dot out. Uh, that's the best point of double clicking in Windows. Uh, so let's just browse it out. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Uh, then obviously you have the RPM, so uh, well RPM package instructions. And, uh, so as as uh, make uses make files, so we we'll type in make from the command line. Make looks at this, and it tells out these instructions to build it. Uh, in a similar vein, RPM. Looks for uh, hello world dot spec here. So it's what we're passing it to in the. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello world spec. So okay, so there's nothing in it. It's basically a bundle. Right. So it's just a dot spec file and. Uh, 
inside of this directory address, inside of home documents, we will call that this and then we'll open the terminal. And uh, we've got authoring package instructions. So yeah. Copy and paste this. Copy. Get it into the terminal. <coughs> Alright, so we've done its work. And then we press the command line of course. Hello world dot spec. That could have been main dot spec, so we have to rebuild uh oh. So we hit that. And uh, it gets to work and uh, what it does is actually boot. It so that's it now. Blah 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 blah. It's quickly built the bundle. Uh, and it starts the bundle in an RPM directory, so go back to home. Uh Projects, downloads, authors, build, RPM build. And uh, yeah, hello world. This is just built. Just double click it. Okay, so here we are where we've got our software from before. Remember, we've got Git. Uh, down here, we've got to software. So let's give it a bit of a load. One floor now for now. I think I think it must be the OBS streamer. Okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, so it's the only projected one out there. It's no map data, potentially safe. Install size thirty three bytes. Version number one. Uh, this is my first RPM package. This does nothing. Hello world from the Dev Security Project. So that's it installed now, and obviously we would delete it as well. So we just uninstall it. So so that's. The whole point of the simplest C++ program uh, on uh, Linux Store Workstation 35. However, that being said, we want to take it to the next level of complexity. So we're at got. Let's try and get a thing going with a Git repo, which I don't. It's just doing my head in, to be honest. <laughs> like, because uh, I was trying to get to the next level, so. Uh, anyway, this is as far as we took it so far. Uh, look out for the next video in the Simplest C++ series. Uh, and the Billion Doors coin. We'll find a way of getting it done. Uh, but uh, it kind of like, at present, it kind of looks like as soon as you start hitting, you know, Visual Studio Code, Qt Creator, I Twitch IDE, uh, Builder, as soon as you leave the command line and terminal, we've got issues and problems. Uh, I'll carry on. I'll carry on with the research, and we'll uh, we'll add to the complexity of this of this main CPP, and we'll get. So, make file. Make file is to make what uh, this hello world spec is to uh, RPM. So you need so you need uh, make RPM, and the thing is as well because it's a Linux system, yeah. Uh, uh, and it, it's built on a lot of scripts and command line terminals that can send stuff to each other. So, uh, so for example, make can do whatever it wants to do, and it can pass on. So it can it's calling G plus plus. So we can type in G plus plus from the command line. Uh, yeah, so we can do G plus plus main dot cp. Okay, so G plus plus built main dot cp. It hasn't given us an eye out though. It's given us a main zero. Yeah, yeah, ten or one. Minus fifty six. Sorry, no, it might not be that zero one. So it did do an eye out. Right. Let's go back. Go back to the. Uh, Main command line out. So yeah, so you can do uh, G plus plus. Hello world spec. Even though we know it's gonna fail, right? We know it's gonna fail. So five four eight oh five. Create another link here. Oh, contact uh, we recognise it's not in C++ or .h, it's .cpp, so .h, we'll add a .h to this one. 
Um, so m- Nate is going to kick off an ICT on, on behalf, as it were. So instead of doing this individually, so for example, if there's lots of source files, this G++ main would be a bit of a pain. And uh, obviously you have Nate. Uh, you have RPM as well. I'll sort of we'll we'll zoom through the Git. Uh, so far, we've got these. Uh, as soon as we get onto the IDEs, though, we've got an, an issue of getting it going because uh, where we were building the Gold Stream, uh, all of the modules it's looking for are, uh, are included, but it can't find it. You see, so there's obviously something going on there. So I don't actually know that. So everything is a, a clue. Uh, but uh, it's one of them. You left as soon as you leave the command line. Right, this Git is pretty decent, right? Uh, so far from uh, most of it from documents, we've got, we've got a Git repo, but uh, there's nothing in it. And uh, this document will come out next to that. So we said this is the. Here you go. You can see the. Uh, you can see in the bottom here. This is hello world from the Dev Security Project. This is an off day. Our thing is this though, uh, no matter how time you get to it, it gives you a few your code. So there's some garbage taking stuff there, like nothing, nothing, nothing special. Uh, so yeah, as you can see in Git G, but uh, if you hit it, if any of these, uh, so I have you in a few uh, have you got issues. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, is it there? So we've got we've got some here with this open launch.json right? So again it's all for this instantaneously. So to go from the command line here in this is it's relatively simple. You just need to know. You need to keep your uh, make file sorted uh, and your RPM, your hello world dot spec or whatever you want to call it dot spec for RPM. And these are the only two things you really need to uh, concern yourself with. Uh, though as you build your project, uh, and obviously you once you've got these things going, uh, you can carry on your project and it'll uh, it can. Uh, so if we go back to this Git G, uh, if we have a look at Git itself, right, uh, uh, over time, over time you see it's much work over time, so that could really help your work. For example, though, as you, as you start from the very beginning here, right, and Git, it'll, uh, so it's, got, you know, it's quite a big bundle. Uh, so we'll look at the Doge coin one here. This is it since November 7, 27. First commit August 30th, 2009. Nice one, fellow Series M. Gets off old Dogecoin thing there. Uh, Red version 0.15, no DLLs here. Uh, exactly, so back in 2009. Okay, so there's a bit of activity going on here, right? And it taps us a bit back down, it gets very busy during this period here again. Lots of work, lots and lots of work. As soon as you settle down here and then pop back up again. Some features that go on these outside tracks take a long time to sort. So that issue would have been kicked off there, but finally brought back to this here, this main left and more three here is is this is what you get per version, the yellow one, yellow dot. Is everything taps back down, right? Uh, merge. So there's put merge pull merge pull in it, which which and worked on by lots of different developers as well at the same time, which is kind of like the kind of the issue here. Uh, so we'll go for like 
set it from the simplest thing to the first thing that's played out in you know industry level complexity and bring it all back together again for it. And like we mentioned that master it early here you can make it and RPM it and then uh, install it in, into our software like you know via this platform here so that it, it becomes available to us via this area here so we can you know like register this delays or what have you. Right. Right brand is still good. So so we kind of took the simplest from simplest from simplest project. So we'd have to keep it at the, at the present level of understanding. We'd have to keep it at this level where certainly for the month of January say so well, we could just hack away at C++, you know, and say some basically simple source files uh, on an individual basis, but we've still got to proceed along that lines. And we'll keep working on the Git repo thing, see if, you know, see if we can get something like this going. So far, I mean, you can see uh, the documents folder here, and it's, it's pretty much all that there is to it. Uh, I haven't got a proper name in it or proper email address. Like so, 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 as you can see, the level of complexity. So we went. Uh, if we keep it simple, we we can just build whatever software we want. We can uh, use make files and RPM. So all we need to do is know how to use RPM and make. So the make file and the RPM with a dot spec here. And obviously C plus plus and uh, you can get some header files in there as well. Test dot text. Uh what's the else? Uh details class dot text. So for example, uh so this little program uh oh it's just a garbage little program, but it's got some files like that output files to test dot text. And that writes the basic material project into that text file. So those, 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 these ones are the results of the program itself. And uh, this details class, oh, the basic is teaches them on Galaxy Council, gets opened up. Involved, but that could, that details class could effectively put you know, where user account uh, security. But we could also make our own file types, and you can put. 3D data, for example, if you know, like if we brought in a window rather than just command line, if we brought in a window package, but because uh, we saw this on the system, right? We've got uh, okay. About so what's it about as well, sorry. Yeah, we install Fedora, uh, AMD, Atom, Fusion, G, Rain, Rain, Graphics, Rain 4. Uh, yeah, so so what we might do next in the simplest C++ pro project is to bring in AMD, compile a Vulkan API. You might have heard what OpenGL, DirectX 3D, or Vulkan API. Uh, we And uh, obviously we can c we can compile and build to this standard, Red Red or Vega three, or the Athlon. Uh, we have been spreading rumours that we're going to get into this uh, AMD uh, compiler. Uh, I've got an outstanding project on that. Uh, if we link that together, we could uh, certainly drop in 3D graphics uh, into this and just use you know. Swap out any of these read or write files, for example. So we could build whole bundles of these. Uh, these could be different characters or you know, AI behaviors, what have you. And obviously, we need to get a window manager. This is the known one. So the only thing is with Linux as well, the, the amount of recycling it takes just to take things step by step, save by save, by save is a big pain. Right. We really do get lost in the woods. But yeah, Vulkan API could easily uh, uh, add a, a Vulkan and we just uh, go to the AMD website, uh, get the Vulkan uh, OpenGL, whatever, drop it in here 
and then link back into it, so we can link into it and all main include it, include Vulcan, what what have you. Uh use G fifty fifth compiler and then use a big three D Windows. Just use that as our source for Windows and stuff like that. Be very Windows and the buttons are pressing here and there for all this. So like the component parts. Uh we're also kind of locked into that as well, so that's not really. Uh, it's more of like inside of the, the environment. Uh, it's, so all of these, all of these chapters here, will run on the command line. Uh, but then we've got to include like Qt or something like that, or Windows. Obviously .NET, we've got all that in there. Microsoft .NET. As we encountered it before. So yeah, hopefully we'll get the Git sorted. Uh, and then we'll find a way of pushing updates. So obviously we we're, we're missing one component part as well, which is just store. So we've been through here uh, a few years back, maybe like eight years ago, seven years ago. We put uh, it was on Ubuntu. So what we actually put bundle up on Ubuntu, uh, the Ubuntu store. Obviously see that it's probably 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 very very similar so we'll dig that one out so so ideally that means that uh, we can check our bundle is, is it also, you know obviously look slow check for updates you know there are no currently no updates but so we can provide that as regards the application itself uh, Sky's the limit really, you know, and, and it seems that uh, a lot of programmers, they're, st they're not struggling with programming in C++ and uh, uh, what have you, that's not actually the case, right, uh, it, it seems that all of this, everything else is the issue, right, right, so we're going to try and, uh, try and, well, uh, we've kept it as simple as we can, but uh, now that we've moved to Git, and obviously the Git G app visualizing, we'll see where everyone else is looking at that. Uh, and we're gonna need a repository as well, so there's gonna be some 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 more complexity uh, moving in. We've got an issue as well: Visual Studio Code, Fusion Create, Eclipse. Uh, and Builder, there's an issue with build targets. That and that, uh, basically. So, you know, we've got and uh, you know, if you've got GitHub, now OBS Stream is a good one to build from source. Uh, that that seems to run through fine. Or uh, everything else, I would say, just less than one hundred percent of projects out there you won't be able to build because you've always build build stuff. So we've had to. Go the other way around by creating the uh, the simplest amount of complexity to make the C++ program. Uh, we, uh, obviously, the builder, the make, should I say, and the RPM manager. And now we're looking at Git to get it a bit more complex. Maybe you only uh, employ somebody to work on your source code. Then Git, you know, is, is probably a part of it. It's massive. The only thing, the, uh, the only thing is, it's it's that massive. It doesn't, you know. We get this issue here with building the build issue itself. Uh, there you go, so that goes all the way back like 2005 or so. And so, generally speaking, this is how they managed to sort by having all these people uh, working together on the software project. And yeah, it does get complicated and stuff. As you work through the years, really working with working along the same bundle, but every every time we hit these uh, tabs here to the left, most likely these are what gets posted in your build RPM, and that and you can always get uh, those are those Linux guys that like build like that they, you know they like to check out source code and build it today, so fr so they'd have the the very freshest version of it. It was the way from move forward in terms of development. 
Oh, well, some of the hours are going backwards as well because I guess that's when they bring all the stuff back and merge. And obviously, it brings all collapsing all together for the release version. Like again, from all all the many different developers work on different uh, areas of the build. And it gets very complex. Lots of people doing lots of jobs. And then it gets brought back together again in the end in the round. Oh, so that's another stable version, Git 2.9 one, whatever stage four release. So all these updates will be the that that what the open source developers are working on on a daily basis. So they always get the latest version from GitHub. Like so, the work they working on, the the work that other developers are working on gets gets up to date. So so it moves you from an individual computer programmer and what an individual could do to a team of programmers. And over, over an, ex uh, an extreme uh, lifetime, or an extremely long project lifetime. Like obviously, this this Git in particular is over decades. Same with the Linux source code and stuff like that. We could actually go, we could spend some time testing out a couple of Git hubs. Obviously, we just kick things off just to get a kick off going with Dogecoin. Still haven't managed to build it. Uh, not spent that much time on it very recently, but. That's the kind of what it looks like. That it's kind of like the next, say, next stage in in complexity. So, you know, still gonna keep it simple for the month of January. Or hopefully, uh, hopefully that's like and subscribe, and hopefully you keep bringing content along along the side. But we're gonna be concentrating on C plus uh, plus, as simple as possible, complexity and Linux Fedora and Station thirty five. We might put. As many how tos and uh, walkthroughs as we possibly can. All right, everybody, thanks very much for your attention. Uh, until next time.